Hi there, today we're going to look at how to create your own personal museum. You can see from my screen here that I've created two rooms. I've not finished the second room, but I've added some images to the walls, um, some artwork or paintings, and then I've added some 3D models from the 3D model store and added them onto some pedestals. So we're going to have a look at how to create your own version of this today. I'm going to start, of course, by going to the little three lines, little sandwich, going back to home and clicking create new, I'm going to choose meters. Once we get to this point, I'm going to use my orbit tool and my pan tool, holding down shift to pan across. I'm going to keep this character here for a bit and to get the rough scale, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to keep my, my museum quite simply uh, shaped at the moment. Just going to drag out a large rectangle and I'm going to use the pull tool. You could choose to do different things if you wanted to. That is completely your choice. That feels like about the right size. I could technically at this point get rid of this character. But I'm still going to keep it in just for now. Now, something you'll have noticed from my original model is I actually had walls. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a second rectangle on top so I can actually add some thicker walls. It's not essential you do this, but if you're going to try and make something a bit more realistic, it is important the walls are actually thick. The walls are not paper thin. Uh, so if we just pull this down, it's too far. There you go. Okay, so that's pulled all the walls down to that level. And so now I've got walls all the way around here. Now, technically I want to get rid of a walls just to make things easier. You can keep a wall in if you want to, but I'm just going to delete this wall. I've just got to draw some lines on it to make sure it's possible to remove this wall. Otherwise, when you delete it, you'll lose loads of the object. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to orbit and do some lines on the bottom as well. And now I should be able to orbit back and I should now be able to start to delete this and not in doing so. Uh, lose half the shape. So if I just orbit, that's interesting that that's not quite works, but that's fine. Uh, those are not complete. Okay, that's fine. I can just fix this momentarily. Delete this one and this one, that's fine. And hopefully, oh, I can see why because the floor is not exactly flush, so I'm just going to push pull down a little bit more, and then it should then work. There we go. So I hadn't push pulled the floor down quite enough, uh, but that's fine. So, again, you don't have to do any of that, but there you go. Here's our room. You can also still use push pull to just you know, resize the walls just a little bit if you think, oh, that's not quite right, but that's fine. Okay, good, so I'm quite happy with this. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to add some textures to it to give us a um, a look of the room. So I'm going to go to the paint tool. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to choose some flooring textiles. I think we're going to go with, what do you sort of have in a... Uh, museum, it's your museum, it's your choice, so we can have something like this. Yep, that's fine. Now, something to think about, do you want white walls? I'm going to go with white walls because uh, that's the... because I want to focus on the objects, and the walls should be white. I just added white anyway, but they should already be white. Even though they look grey from this angle, when you rotate around, they'll be white. So they should already be white, okay? So... Here is the room that's created, so there's our starting point. 